Hey guys, welcome back. It's Josh with the Financial Advisor Car Guy. This week we're gonna do a quick update on the eclipse. Um, as you can see, there's actually some snow on the ground. It's been incredibly cold. Uh, we've had rain and snow and uh, actually where the car is sitting, it sort of just sits in the shade. So you can kind of see a nice straight line of snow back here, um, which is where the sun hits the fence. And uh, you know, most everything on this side uh, that wasn't in the shade, obviously melted, but the car casts a shadow and then the fence casts a shadow. And so anyway, the long and short of it is we're gonna walk around. I'm gonna do a quick update on the car. What you're gonna first notice is that the wing is gone. The factory spoiler has come off. Um, I'm not super loving that I have to repaint some stuff. Um, the painter's tape is actually just covering some holes. I need to get a little grommet set and uh, plug all those holes. And um, I initially thought I would use fiberglass or Bondo and actually close the holes up. Um, but I don't think I'm going to do that, at least not initially. I do have brand new paint to paint the car. Um, I'm going to have to paint the new rear bumper. And, um, you know, the, whatever we do, I'm going to have to now touch up all this stuff and get this maybe repainted up on the trunk lid and where the spoiler was mounted before. So without the wing, um, honestly, I actually, I kind of like how the car looks a little bit better, to be quite honest. I never liked the factory wing on these things. Um, my daughter twisted my arm and we did end up ordering her an aluminum wing, but the compromise with that is uh, we're gonna go ahead and wrap it. I bought some carbon fiber vinyl and we're gonna wrap the wing and then I'm gonna paint the, um, the end caps of, of the wing, you know, how there's generally uh, like a metal end piece. I'm gonna paint it purple to match the car. Hopefully it'll tie it all together. And then the carbon fiber wrap on the wing should match the carbon fiber on the hood, which we'll talk about. A Couple other things that we're gonna do to the car, I'm holding this, is a shift knob. So I ordered my daughter a really nice leather perforated shift knob. Uh, that's gonna be fantastic for her. Um, what's in there now, and I can give you a quick glimpse, is the super hokey fake carbon fiber. And it's getting worn, you can see pretty well right where somebody's hand was, and um, no bueno. So uh, I wanted to get her something different. I'm gonna go walk inside and set this down. And while I walk into the garage, I'm gonna flip the camera around and show you guys a couple of things. You're going to notice some parts on the ground. So here are the side skirts. Uh, underneath the side skirts are the Lambo door hinges, which we are not using. You're gonna see the passenger door card there and then a hood that is actually carbon fiber underneath this flat black mess. Um, right over here, I actually just bought it today. I bought an abrasive blaster kit. So I'm going to use this walnut shell blasting media to uh, basically take that layer of paint off. Uh, after doing quite a bit of research online, I'm not trusting my sanding skills. Uh, <laughs> I don't wanna cut too deep into uh, the carbon. I, I don't know how thick the paint is on there. I mean, it looks pretty thick to me. So anyway, I think that using the uh, blaster kit is actually gonna do quite a nice job because um, I can control the speed and the power. And so we'll just do it real lightly. Um, and then I bought 25 pounds or something of that media. So that'll be fine. Here is the underglow kit. So pretty cool. It's all app controlled. Uh, once upon a time, we used to actually use neon strips. Not anymore. It's all LED. And so very, very cool. That just is a peel and stick deal. Um, I already have a switch wired into the dash from fog lights that used to be on there, which I have since sold. I also did sell the factory front bumper, which is great. Uh, these two things right here, the roll round one is window tint. So if you remember the back window doesn't have window tint. Uh, so that is tint for that window. And then the other box is actually a new strut for the tailgate. That was the very first thing that I did. I ordered a pair of tailgate struts, um, literally the moment I got home with the car. And um, they came, I installed them uh, maybe a week later. The very first time I opened this hatch, it was when I was taking this spoiler off. I lifted the hatch and this strut actually broke, it snapped. So I contacted the seller and he sent me a new set and those just arrived, uh, I don't know, yesterday or the day before. 
Um, if I bring you back around, you can see in there that the passenger door card is gone. And that's what we were looking at over there in the garage. Now, I'm going to share with you why that came apart. Now, I took it apart because that lock was just, actually, I'll show you on this side, sort of floppy, right? There's no resistance. It just, there's nothing there. So right now this car doesn't lock. So I've been parking it in the garage. Um, again, you saw that it didn't move yesterday because of the snow, but I've been parking it in the garage for safekeeping. And I investigated inside the door and really what it comes down to, and I'm just gonna show you on the driver door, is that the, the whole locking mechanism in here on the passenger side, and I'm guessing on this one too, I haven't taken this door apart yet, as you can see, but uh, the mechanism inside actually broke. And so the rod, is missing. There should be a second silver rod kind of up there, uh, right above that other one. And it's missing. And where it connects in the door is broken off. So I'm just going to go ahead and order a whole new assembly. It should come with a new rod. Um, I'm not planning to rekey the car. So hopefully I can just reuse the same lock tumbler. But basically, um, all that that whole thing is going to get replaced, which I mean, I'm fine with I think that's, that's good. Um, but I do have to take this door apart. And while I have it apart, what we're going to do is actually, I guess before I close that door, I'll show you. So the dash is black and the console is black. And so everything is two-toned in here, but it's strange to me that this piece is black over here, but then this is beige. So we had talked about doing one of two things, either painting the upper half of the door all black, or at least painting this insert here black. And so I think what we're going to do um, is that. I think we're going to paint the actual upper half of the door. So we'll probably come down to this line here. But then what I think we're going to do is leave the insert there, that circular oval area, um, beige. So it'll be a two-tone door panel, uh, which I think is going to look really slick. Other than that, gosh, no other updates at this point. Um, Oh, one thing my daughter did decide was she wants to go away from black wheels and go to silver wheels. So I will likely use that abrasive blaster that I just bought and take the paint off these wheels. And then um, I can tell, let's see, I feel like it was this wheel. Somewhere there was a little chip in the paint, kind of right there. These wheels used to be silver, or at least the lip used to be silver. So if I can remove the paint and get them back to way, the way they were, uh, maybe I can just polish them out or I can get some silver paint and uh, give them a new paint job. So that's something we're going to do. But uh, the spoiler is here. It's just in the house. It's still in the box. I haven't assembled it yet. The vinyl wrap is not here yet, which is why I haven't bothered to open the spoiler. Other than that, I think we're moving right along. The next step is really to wait till the weather warms up so that I can get out here and actually put all this stuff together. Uh, I really want to blast the hood and see what the carbon looks like underneath that and get that hood on the car. I really want to pull this back bumper off, get the other bumper painted, get the side skirts painted, get them installed. I do think I need to order some wheel spacers because I'm really concerned that the, the side skirts are going to kind of poke out a little bit. Um, the rear bumper, the new bumper flares out a little bit. And as you can see, the front bumper flares out quite a ways. And so the tires and wheels, they look very recessed in. And I, I want a more flush look. So, I mean, right now, the, right now the back looks okay. But again, once the new bumper and the skirts are on, I feel like the tires are going to look like they're in. So I'll probably order some, some wheel spacers, maybe a quarter inch, half inch, something like that. I don't want them too much. I don't want them out past the fender flares or the fenders. But um, I... I don't want them too tucked either. I really like to bring them out. And then um, other than that, it's really just getting the stuff that we have on the car. Um, and that all requires the weather to warm up a whole bunch because it has just been way too cold, as you can see, snow. So with that, I'm gonna close off this week, but thank you so much for watching. Please comment down below. Let me know what I should do to this car. If there's something I have missed, overlooked, forgotten, uh, maybe there was a prior week where I said I was going to do something and I didn't give you an update on it today. Uh, I suppose that's a possibility. So let me know. Uh, otherwise, like, subscribe, and most importantly, remember, may every investment you make be a good one. Till next time.